Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at critical Windows updates are still causing major problems on Windows 11 25 H2. So I've just built this computer and basically I've got Windows 11 25 H2 on the system. And you can see right here when I do Windows updates, it's offering me a couple of updates. And we'll talk about those two updates uh, a little bit later on. Now, this is after I started having major problems with random freezing on the screen and what I mean by that is the whole screen just freezes and you can't do anything and I have to uh, end task basically on everything and reboot the system and sometimes applications just freeze up for no reason whether it be discord freezing up and I can't do anything with discord I have to close it down and reopen it you can see on the system right here let me quickly show you here this was an incident that I recorded and basically the whole start menu is frozen and locked on the screen. So I tried to restart Windows Explorer and you can see now what happens is the taskbar disappears. Uh, Windows Explorer repopulates, but the taskbar is gone and it will come back up. It just takes a bit of time, but this should be instant. Now this tells me something is not right here and uh, I'm trying to... Uh, restart the other Windows Explorer. Why we got two there, I don't know, but we're just going to restart it and see what happens. But it still hasn't come up, and you can see that little circle. That's what's exactly happening with applications when I open applications up. They just basically freeze. If I alt tab or I have a, a video playing and I alt tab to that video and I go back to Discord, it completely locks up and I can't do anything. And this is a uh, version of Windows 11 25 H2. Now, I don't know whether this is a major problem for many computers because obviously I've just built this system. And you can see the taskbar has now repopulated. It took quite a while to come back up. And that should be pretty much instantaneous. It should come up straight away and there should be no problem. But again, like I said, there is no heavy usage of any process in the background that is making the system lock up like that so i really don't know what is actually causing it i've looked uh, on the system itself and i couldn't find what was causing it in event viewer you do get an error code for the app being frozen and locked and basically that's all you get so whether this is a a bad uh, update or whether this is uh, something to do with um, hard new hardware that i'm running on this system and it just doesn't like it i really don't know but again, it's really frustrating because it's been happening on and off. Now, it's not happening constant. Sometimes it just goes back to normal and it functions perfectly fine. Then all of a sudden, uh, you start to get this locking up. Now, I have tested the RAM on the system. I've done a full system uh, scan on the RAM. And you can see already it's gone again. I've pushed the start button and the taskbar has disappeared. So yeah, I've done a full system scan of the RAM, it come back with a clean bill of health and everything was fine. So it's obviously related to Windows. Now, whether this is to do with a, a known issue, I have checked the known issues page and there was no issues uh, about this at all. I did a search on the internet and I see there was a known issue for random freezing and there was a update released and you can see now the taskbar has now come back and when you try to do anything you just can't uh, do anything on the system it just locks up and sometimes i'm having to full shut the pc down and reboot the pc which is very frustrating especially if you're in the middle of something now it's a clean install on this system because it's a brand new computer that i built now i did run sfc scan now and i did run some other commands to try to fix and see whether there's an issue with integrity of the windows files so i quickly did that right here now all this is doing is running a scan of the operating system files to see whether there's any sort of integrity issues with these files and it will try to fix them and replace them so if you've got any sort of corruption with your operating system files it will try to fix and remedy that uh, operating system file now, the thing with this is it's a completely clean install because it's a brand new computer that I've just built. So it's got to be something to do with the OS. And again, you can see here, we didn't find any integrity violations with the operating system. So there is the computer right here. If you haven't seen that computer build, there is a video on my YouTube channel. You can go and watch the whole build process for this particular build if you're interested 
in PC building. I've already made that video and it's already up on my channel. I did upload that yesterday. Now I'm really close to uh, reinstalling uh, the operating system again and going back to Windows 10 until a lot of these problems are ironed out if it is to do with uh, the 25H2 version. Because looking on Windows 11 version 25H2 known issues, I couldn't see any information there. There was no known issues for freezing of the operating system. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that there isn't other issues out in the wild that haven't been added to this list. But as you can see here, all of the ones on here have been resolved apart from the one at the bottom, which was migrated over. Now, I don't believe for one minute that Windows 11 25 H2 is completely 100% bug free. It's just that they haven't been added to this list. So this is just a list that Microsoft keep updated. And normally on 24H2, this list was massive. It really was. And a lot of those have been resolved now. Uh, but hopefully 25H2 is good because I believed when I was using it on my last system that it, I had no problems with it. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not going to have issues with it on this PC because this is a completely different uh, computer with new hardware. When you do a quick search on Google, you can see here random freezing Windows 11 25 H2. To fix the random freezing on Windows 11 25 H2, first ensure your system has the latest October 28, 2025 update KB5067036 or later, which will address this known issue. So if that is a known issue and they're saying about it on here, why isn't it on that list letting people know there's a known issue? Now, I did run those two commands on the system and the problem seemed to run away. Now, when looking on the Windows updates this morning, I did find that there was updates with that particular update version available to me. It says preview update, but again, I'm going to install it and hopefully that remedies the issue that I've got. Otherwise, I'm just going to reinstall uh, with Windows 10 because I just need a working computer at this stage and I can't use it in the current state it's in right now. Or I can go back to 24H2 and use that version of Windows if it's a known issue with 25H2 with this particular hardware. Other people are going to say in the comments section, I've been using Windows 11 25H2 since its release and had no problems at all. And of course, that's always going to be the case. Every computer is different. Every piece of hardware is different in a computer and it will react differently to Windows updates. So what might be working fine for you doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work fine for someone else. And this is the problem with updates. They affect people differently and computers differently. Now, hopefully this update does fix the problem uh, because it is very frustrating. And if it doesn't fix the problem, then this version of Windows 11 is going. I can't have an unstable system. I do need to have a, a reliable computer to do my work. And that said, I think that is going to be about it. So anyway, let me know in the comments what sort of issues you're having with Windows 11 25 H2, if any, because I know some people will not have any issues, but it will be interesting to read your comments nevertheless. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.